They are a great way to be cool and also to look cool at the same time this summer. And it is wearing a hat, of course. We're talking about it. And it's the season's hottest new accessory here with tips on how to find the perfect chapeau is Amy Goodman, author of Wear This, Toss That. Great to have you with us, Amy. Thank you for having me this morning. And you morning. know, Hollywood comes out with some of the weirdest hats. Yeah. But sometimes they make it right. What, what works? Well, you need to first think about a hat's personality and then also your personal style and make sure that those mesh. And then secondly, think about proportion. So those are two key elements that you can get in order to get the perfect hat for your head. All right, perfect. So we have a bunch of models here to show how to find the perfect hat. Dana first is here. You put a Western hat on her. We Why did. did you pick this one? Well, you know, Kate Middleton actually just wore a white Western cowboy hat in Canada. We're opting for this. It's really hot for the moment um, because, you know, cowboys wear them for sun protection. Here, it's a modern interpretation. I love the unexpected black color. I love the open weave of this brim. And she also has a round faced shape mm -hmm. of, of her face. And so in order to have a little bit of structure on the top or crown of the head, here it's a bit square, counterbalances that beautifully. It looks great, Dana. Thank you so much. Guy is also here. We have a man yep. in a bowler hat. <laughs> well, with the popularity of the British invasion and the royal wedding, even guys are getting into hat. And here we have a great bowler, American style hat. It's known for its short brim. The key here, you know, he happens to, you know, Guy's a smart one. So okay. he has a big noggin. And the trick here <laughs> is to do it asymmetric a little off-center in order to kind of conquer and divide his face shape. Ah, conquer yeah. and divide. Never would have thought of that this morning, would you guys? <laughs> um, we also have Kimberly. Thank you, Guy. Kimberly is wearing a hat much like your hat this morning with that wide brim, very chic. The floppy hat. So 1970s inspiration everywhere on the runway from Gucci to Marc Jacobs. And it also extends to accessories clearly here. Um, in Kimberly's face shape, she happens to have an oval face, one of the most versatile and the floppy hat also very versatile great for a wide variety of head uh, sizes one key here make sure that the brim doesn't exceed the width of your shoulders ah. and also her hat happens to have UPF of 50 so she could put on her bathing suit head to the beach and have sun protection as well that is very smart yes. Whoever thought of that all right yeah. thank you so much Kimberly exactly. we appreciate it city is also here another guy in a nice hat. <laughs> yes, caps are uber popular this season. They're very easy to throw on here. It's done with a little cotton, so it's very casual, but for a more dressy feel, you could do like a leather cap. <laughs> he happens to have a very narrow head, rather small head, so we just made sure that the cap fit him to a T and beautifully. The one mistake with caps is when they're too small for your head to shape, <laughs> and then your head kind of looks like a house, and the cap ends up kind of looking like a dormer, and that is a definite <laughs> toss in my book so well this one looks great and it's cotton so obviously in the summertime you're not going to get hot wearing it thank nice you so much cool. city maria is here as well she's wearing a lovely this is a lovely hat i've never seen anything like this before this is more like the sunday best you know i think that in america we tend to only wear hats for special occasions or holidays here it shows you a perfect fashion pop here mm -hmm. with the accessory of a hat how much it adds to her purple sheath dress another thing americans might say oh hats are too hot but hers is sheer it's very delicate has tremendous breathability and she has a square faced shape um, so here you know having that kind of softer rounded crown brings a lot of femininity the attention to her eyes a nice softness on the brim that looks so beautiful and for all the hats you know make sure that that crown at the top of the hat mm. actually is not narrower than the width of your face that's good advice tip. thank you so much Maria one last <laughs> model Martino is here looking very dapper Martino you know he is wearing the Panama hat the fedora is everywhere right now, but the Panama is the close cousin, and the only difference is that this one is made of straw. It's also known for a slightly wider brim, which counterbalances his broader shaped face. And this is, I love this. This is classic styling to a T. He is a restaurateur here in New York. He normally wears a fabulous suit. To that, we add a debonair hat, very dashing, classic sophistication. He looks fantastic. Great stuff. All of our models look fantastic. Thanks so much to all of you, and thanks so much to you, Amy, for thanks. styling them and also for my hat. I appreciate it. Oh, I'm really loving so it. Smashing. You should wear hats more often. Likewise, Amy Goodman. <laughs> likewise. Thanks.